darkness. So. Hey. Hey. Hey, guys. Hey, you. Hey, you. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. Look at that Pepsi logo. I know. Let's Look get at our, that Pepsi my Pepsi it, was let's hiding. Let's arrange it a little bit more there. There we go. Nicely arranged. Except that they're, they're like different heights, though. Well, it's okay because people are all of different heights, except me and John and Tasteless and Artos were all 184 centimeters tall. I'm basically the same height. You're one, one centimeter, centimeter higher. One I don't know. If we just cut that difference. little Eiffel Tower off, you'll probably be the same. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it, man. It's the Eiffel soon. Tower. It's not quite it's as like tall a, as the Eiffel really Tower. It's nice but wave today, isn't it? I, I like it. Well, like, I actually, know. when I go like this to your hair, like the Eiffel Tower starts bending no, like this. No, then it'll become the Leaning Tower of Pisa, man. <laughs> don't mess up my landmarks. You know, um, actually, I just let my hair grow a little bit just well, to see what stuff they do with it. That's actually my secret. I have a landmark. My shirt. I've actually got a lot of tweets about this. My shirt. My that, shirt has a mind of its own. Like, I've actually been trying to fix this work. for... If you guys go back and look at my old cast, it still, still has some issues like, trying to fix my shirt on, on your camera there. It actually has so many issues with this shirt. It's uh -huh. so funny. Like, we try to fix it. We like try to put it on the iron. We, like iron it, and it like, goes back. We're like, how, how did that happen? I don't know I don't how that know, happened, man. but... This is my shirt, okay? It's part of me. And, you know, you guys are just going to have to respect that. I'm sorry my shirt is not perfect. You guys are just going to have to respect my just shirt. going to accept Wolf how he is. Accept my shirt. Not You don't, You can accept me if you want, but you have to ex accept my shirt. Just I accept your shirt. Do you I accept my shirt? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's all right. Okay. We're all... Oh, everything, everything's good now. Now that right? we've got that sell settled... No, seriously, so guys, I'm going to try to fix the shirt, but, like, I've tried, man. We'll work on all it. All right, but more importantly than shirts... We're going to see Way some cool boys. shirts here. Look, Look at that. that shirt. You can see her arm in that shirt. You're right. I thought that was just like a, a sun on there, but it's actually her shoulder. Yeah, that's a cool shirt. I like that. They like took part of it and made another part of a different shirt with it. I don't know. That's called recycling. Cool. <laughs> so well, here is Puzzle. Puzzle, yep. The Protoss from the future. This guy, that's what I like to call him. Yeah. This guy, I think, is the favorite here. He made it. He's been the scariest Protoss in all of Korea forever. Ask anyone, they'll tell you that. That uh, recent 10 sets looks a lot like Nestes, doesn't it? You know, back before MC had his run in the GSL and was doing extremely well, people said they were kind of scared of him, but they said they're even more scared of Puzzle. Huh. And now, Puzzle's here, man. He went all the way through Code A, made it through the finals, beat Tassadar out there, and now he's here. Well, he did just beat ASD as well, and uh, Beyond, too. I mean, both of those guys are pretty solid Terran players. I don't think they're quite on the level of the Terran he's going to face today, but you know, they're, they're pretty good. He does That's have true. a winning record versus Terran, of course, too, and apparently enjoys uh, hanging out at coffee places with K-pop stars. Yeah, he doesn't actually read books. Now, <laughs> uh, yeah, Young actually solves crossword puzzles on that? his free time. Is I that a crossword? That might be a coloring book. I, I think know. it's a crossword puzzle, man. I think the answer to uh, who's going to win today is Ryung's like, it's Ryung, and he writes it down Five and goes letters. like this. Five letters. <laughs> goes from left to right, starts with an R. It's a great Gosu Terran from the Team Slayers. That's Ryung, man. No, if you look at his record down there, you can see that he's won about 50% of his matches against Protoss, taking out recently Hongen and Trickster. So that's, that's pretty impressive. Also taking out JYP recently as well. Uh, very, very good recent 10 sets. Eight wins and two losses. This guy, some people might argue he's one of the strongest Terrans on on Slayers right now. I think he is. I think he's like right under MMA, and I mean, that's even debatable. If those guys played like three best of fives or uh, four best of fives we'll say for the sake of example i think it would come out two too i think they're both uh, really good you know if that is a coloring book ryung's just coloring his entire page black too he's <laughs> it's maybe not the best at staying in the lines but he's very good at well he's been looking at the camera this entire time he hasn't really been paying attention to what he's been doing could be i don't know so there they are puzzle on the left ryung on the right on our first map in Zelnaga Fortress. Looks like Puzzle downvoted Antigua Shipyard and Ryung downvoted Crossfire. And um, I, I like those choices. I think we're going to see a lot less of Crossfire in the GSL late now. Um, and Antigua Shipyard is kind of new. Antigua Shipyard is difficult for Cross to engage on because of the center location. Yeah. And only Huck can take full bases on that map against. Huck can be not on that map, man. What more do you want? But yeah, I mean, I can understand why that map is vetoed. For th th these vetoes make a lot of sense, really. Yeah. So, so 
Yeah, Zelnaga Fortress is a map that Ryung actually lost to on the code A against Tassler to a blink yeah. stalker all in when he tried to one rack to expand. Well, it seems like for some reason Zelnaga Fortress is a map people love to all in on. Because the main yeah. reason why, in most cases, is because there's so much area inside the main base for units to go up and down on. There's so many places where Void Rays can sneak around. There's a lot of yep. warp in onto high ground areas. And not only that, the rush that's on this map is pretty small. There's a place where you can poke at mineral lines at certain spawns, so that that tends to be why this map is chosen for all ins, but we'll see if Puzzle wants to do that here. The countdown has started. Will the Protoss from the future take out one of Slayer's best Terrans here at the GSL? Let's find out in a few minutes. I am Wolf, and with me is Doa. Let's, Let's jump into game. this game. Welcome to the Renaissance Festival. <laughs> Let's hear the bagpipes on so I thought here is our Protoss player from the Team Zenex. He is... Players can't figure him out, Wolf. He is quite a... A... Zenex, pause it. I almost did it, but she was on the case. That's right. Like a detective. On the case. Puzzles on the case. Trying to get in the round of eight. That's GSL the case, man. Us. That is the case. And on this side of the map, in the bottom left, we have our blue Terran player from the Team Slayers. His name means like ghost or spirit. They call him the Terran Sniper. Yes. Yeah. For a second I was I thought that was like a Slayer's necklace she had, and I'm like, that is awesome. <laughs> I want one of those. They should make a Slayer's necklace. Yes, we are. I'm gonna talk to Jessica about that. We should. Oh, oh, I don't. You open the can, wait. and there's a can inside. That, wow, that is the what most does frustrating it mean? can I've ever seen, <laughs> man. Thanks to Pepsi G Skill and Ole Ebook, Ole Ebook, yep. for sponsoring the GSL. And um, we talked to Sella in the break here, and kind of, I was like, well, how's how's Ryung feeling today? Usually, Ryung is like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna win, but today, Sella was like, he's feeling good. I'm like, wow, I don't think I've ever actually heard Ryung say he's feeling good before a match before. And, and uh, so it's like he's planned two different strategies for uh, specifically for Puzzle. So Ryung obviously did a lot of preparation for this. I'm sure Puzzle did it as well. Yeah, Let's absolutely. See what happens when preparation clashes. Yeah, when these preps class, you like clash. clash. I see clash. Like Titans will clash. That movie Clash of the Titans, the best tagline they could come up with was Titans will clash. <laughs> <laughs> Who were the ad actually, wizards that came up with that one? I actually never watched that, so I don't. It wasn't that good. I heard, I heard, I heard. Yeah, I heard. That's what I heard. I saw it in 3D, and there was a scene where like there was a balding guy, and his hair looked like it was standing like three feet off the top of his head. I'm like, do you really need to go that far with it? I don't know. And there's a factory. So you know, speaking of all ins, we we've seen well. this film a lot. And oh, is he gonna see the factory? That was, almost, that was the it. coolest way to try to sneak in there. Now, Legend shows you guys know you did not see. Yeah. Um, now, let's talk about this build. This is the build that's been controversial recently. Although this has Quite been going on for a while. And he's doing it. He's got the reactor, and you can pretty much tell that it's going to happen at this point. Now, this build is so difficult to stop because Perossus have been greedy. It, this build in itself is very strong and very powerful, but essentially it's like... It's just one of those builds that if you make a fast nexus with just one gate and try to add a few more gates or try to make a robo, then you'll just lose to it. You just can't hold it. You have to be very careful. You have to slow the push down. You have to do so many different things if you try to hold a fast span. But if you do what Puzzle is doing and you go one gate into oh. robo, into a second gate, and then try to expand and do a two gate robo build, Wait a then second. you're fine. But we're not going to see. Wait a second. We're not going to see what we thought. We might actually see a variation of it. I could see him putting out, you know, two to four Hellions, switching things back over. And uh, then just using the Hellions to kind of get some map control and put some pressure yeah. on Puzzle, make him pull Not the only that, back to his base. But what you can do oftentimes with these Hellions is that you can make your opponent think, oh, well, he's just being very harassment oriented. He's not going to be doing that timing attack. He's not making any siege tanks. Yeah. But uh, we're going to find out if he switches the tech lab on the starport and the Ooh, barracks to get a Banshee. That's when we'll really know. That's tricky. Taking the Hellions down around the bottom. They're going to run right into the Stalker, though. And did Puzzle see the blip on his minimap? That's the question here. And he's okay with the uh, SCP seeing his robo. Yep. You know, there's no reason. I mean, if you if your opponent sees it, he's gonna be like, oh well, oh, well you're robo. making a robo. Like, what what does it mean? Aha. <laughs> so 
there are Hellions three and four, and he's actually making two more. So um, yeah, also a dropship. Yeah, so, so this is definitely not going to be the build that uh, not. not the feared people call it the one 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 build. It's not just a one 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 build. It's a specific Marine yeah. Banshee tank timing attack. It's a one 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 build, not the one one. Sometimes there's the special edition version with one <laughs> Raven. The special edition only comes with one Raven. Dude, we all know that sometimes the special editions aren't quite as good. They changed the Jabba's Palace scene and it's just dorky. <laughs> Instead of being kind of weird and cool like it was. Well, I'm sure you guys remember... I don't know, did Han or Greedo shoot first? Dude. Dude. <laughs> I thought, for a second there, I got trolled by you. Just now. I was like, what? But then I realized you were just joking. Um, yeah, I mean, I... That's something that's always been up for debate, man. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, four Hellions are in a medevac here, and they're going to skirt all the way around the side. Now, what it, he wants to do is draw the forces down with these Hellions on the low ground and then do an attack with the yeah. drop at the back. But Puzzle's not falling for it. He's like, well, you can burn that next all you want. You're not going to kill all those shields. Can flames destroy an interdimensional warp rift? I don't know if... <laughs> They actually can. Well, so. one thing that's really interesting is that he only has four sentries and an immortal to defend back here. He could try to kill a lot of these sentries. We're going to find out what's going to happen. Yeah, I think these Hellions might kill a few probes here. Um, oh, actually, uh, a few more nice than a probe. Oh. A few more than a ah, few. more than a few. That's, I was like, why am I saying those same words so many times? That's how I did it. 11 workers killed there with that drop. Yep. Actually, that was really good. Yeah, he kept all the Hellions but one alive. Yeah. Now, Interesting things have been happening during all of this. Puzzle has made a Stargate, started Phoenix production, and Ryung has continued to pressure. He's doing a different type of oh, timing attack with Marauders. He's even Marauder got a Raven. Hellion. He's got a Raven. He's got four or five SCBs coming down as well here. This now, Phoenix is going to really change things. Yeah. Now the... This is such a weird attack from Ryung. Yeah. He's trying to go for the Nexus. I'm not uh, sure why Puzzle is trying to engage this. He actually gave the Hellions a hug with those force fields, and the Hellions are like, well, please, by all means, let me kill your sentries. And uh, I don't think Puzzle's uh, going to hold this, actually. SCV's hanging out there as well. And yeah, it's going to be really difficult to hold the Raven with the point defense drone. That doesn't have enough energy. He needs yet. to drop an auditor uh, or something. I don't. Yeah. That was a little bit Ooh, weird, but. Lost the Raven. The Immortal not doing a lot of damage here because the Hellions, of course, are light units. He's not able yep. to hit the Marauders. Really nice micro by Ryung, and he's just constantly having the better concave. Going to kill this Nexus and Puzzle. I love it. He's got the SCVs they're repairing, too. Puzzle used a lot of that force field energy up. Doesn't have very many force fields left. And just not, <laughs> there's no answer, though, really, for Ryung well, the, with the Phoenix there. Well, the Phoenix is like, yes, I matter. But, you know, it, ultimately it just ended up in a dead Nexus. And, yeah, Ryung just falls back. I guess he's just going to sacrifice the meta back there. Nope. He's like, I took out your one Marine. Now what are you going to do? All right. Well, that was interesting. Well, um, Puzzle now is behind because even though he has a very large army, you can never really use it. It's a very slow army compared to the army of Ryung. Uh, now Ryung is making tanks and Marines in siege mode and things like that. <laughs> he's going to Phoenix phase two. Like, ha, 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 you can't do anything about me. Yeah, man. That's what was saying. Once he got that Marine, he was like, well, I guess now I can cook the meta back. Yep. Um, now, what Puzzle needs to do is, as he takes his Nexus again, if he's going to do that, is get aggressive. Um, and the Phoenix oh. does end up escaping there. Almost losing the Phoenix, yep. So, this attack is going to be... It's not going to end the game, but it's going to be very difficult for Ryung to hold. It's not going to be easy for him to hold. So he's to make a Nexus as he attacks here. He needs to be very careful, though. I mean, you can see with this Phoenix right now that, well, this attack isn't going to work. It's well, just yeah, not going to end the game. Well, is going to be done in just a second or two. He's got tons of Marauders anywhere. Anyway, nice nope. little block there for those Hellions. Yep. And the Hellion actually killed the Probos and make the Nexus, and now he's very, you know, it's not going to be easy for him to make that Nexus. So there's Hellions in there waiting to kill it. And I'm going to poke at these depots. Ryung very nervous. There's a lot of force and energy now. So he has to be very careful because this can happen. Yeah, losing some Hellions and a Marauder, but Siege Mode has finished. Yeah, that and that is it, man. When yeah. Siege Mode is done, you don't, you don't fight with sentries anymore. No, you don't. Generally, don't want to engage up a ramp when there's siege tanks shooting at you from the top. And suddenly, this army is not looking quite as strong. Yeah, you cannot siege contain. I mean, you cannot. When you have put a siege mode, you cannot sentry contain. Well, siege mode just keeps you. Yeah, it keeps you so safe against force fields. That's the biggest benefit of it in uh, PvP, of course. And you know, Ryung hasn't expanded yet. Pretty sure he just wants to push out and try to kill his opponent in the very near future here. Yeah, and puzzle surprisingly not making a nexus either. But I think. 
it's a smart choice in this case, given that his opponent is just... He, he's not made a command center either, so if you're one base versus one base, it's okay in this case for the Protoss. Yeah. He just wants to make a better unit composition than his opponent, and I think so far he's been relatively successful with that. He doesn't have a lot of Zealots. I'd like to see him add a few more Zealots in here. Killing off these Vikings. The Vikings, of course, are here for what Ryung assumes is going to be Colossi. They're just not. Ooh, I don't know if this is the best decision with the Phoenixes. Might have been a better idea to save those for tanks I later I completely on. agree. I think yeah. using the energy for those tanks would be much better. But it's going to be very difficult to do even that, given that there are a lot of Marines out. That's nice concave too. here for Puzzle. He does have a decent amount of sentry energy. And the point defense run, though, isn't coming to play. There's oh, so many goes. stalkers. Gets into siege mode in time. Oh, the tanks are lifted. He did have enough energy, and suddenly... Ryung not looking quite as strong as he did before. Siege tanks trying to do damage, and Ryung is barely, barely going to have enough to push this army back for the next puzzle. Yeah, uh, just... Well, maybe well, not. Never mind. Well, with these reinforcements, it's really hard to tell. This is actually really close, man. I don't know, but the four Marines are joining in. It looks like he is going to have enough, maybe. Got a medevac. Possibly, man. I don't know. He doesn't have stim, so these stalkers are chasing him back. That was... But more Marines coming to reinforce. He's probably going to turn around and kill these stalkers. He should. He should, but he's not. And, and the stalker's getting free kills. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is my reality right now. <laughs> it's a weird game. He was waiting for the tank to catch up. And, you know, I don't know. We are actually almost reset Whoa. yet again, guys. 53 supply to 51 for Puzzle. These guys getting pretty low on minerals and their bases. In fact, we may start seeing some long distance mining from the naturals. Neither player can expand. That was about as even of, his, of a engagement Whoa. as you can really see in StarCraft 2. Yeah, Ryung has... We had like six Marines queued up on one barracks that didn't have a reactor. I didn't understand the point of that, but he, he has <laughs> since canceled them now made a command center. Ryung's going to get this command center up, which he should have been able to make while he was pushing out. The reason why he can make it in Puzzle can't is because Puzzle can't hold. Well, now he can make it, of course, if he knows. Well, yeah, he's making the Nexus now. He's right. like, well, I guess I'll expand. So both these guys, now that he, Puzzle saw with the Phoenix to the Command Center, he knows, okay, I can take my own Nexus now. And Ryung has a slight supply lead. It's hard to say who's really ahead, though, at this point. Yeah, what's the worker count right now? It the worker count for these guys is 27 to 26. Even. Puzzle uh, having the 27 there, just having a slight lead. But with mules, of course, yeah. not really too big of a deal to be just one up like that. I'd say these guys are pretty even. Right now, I mean, Stim's going to finish in a moment. I, I feel like I feel like I want to put Ryung a little bit at a little oh, bit definitely. of an advantage compositionally. He has, a better, he has a better supply. He's got a pretty good composition. Yeah. Marine but tank medevac. Right his now army is, is not very fast, not very mobile. If Puzzle attacks right now... Like he's doing, he's moving out. If he actually attacks into this, I'm going to be so confused. He's going to just die, yeah. He's I mean. seen everything. There's no reason to believe that this is going to work. Okay, I don't think he's going to. He's just trying to scare his opponent. Wouldn't scare me, man. I mean, if this tank sitting there, you're like, all right, yeah, please, attack me. Huh. I want to be attacked by your army right now. Well, probes transferring here for Puzzle. Both these guys starting mining around the same time. Robotic support bay going to finish here, so he's going to start getting some Colossi out. Are Colossi the answer, though? There's so many siege tanks. He already well, has a starport up. He can, he can make Vikings, but the Phoenix, there's that one Phoenix out. Not really going to be too big of a deal. I think Colossi would be good, but I don't think he's going to have enough out by the time that Ryung pushes. Yeah, that's why yeah. I'm like... Puzzle's in a tough spot because Ryung has this really scary army. This drop is actually going to be unnosed. There are a lot of zealots yeah. back at home for Puzzle, though, so he can hold this off. Very risky to do a drop like this when you know your opponent has Phoenixes out, potentially. Well, yeah, but I think at the same token, too, it's also brilliant. To yeah, try it's going to work, too. man. He knows I mean, where his opponent's Phoenixes are, at least, more or less. Yeah, and this drop is going to do a lot of damage. The Zealots, in fact, oh, are moving yeah. away at the same time. Yeah, a lot of probes are going to die here. here Stim go, and in. go. Nice reaction by Puzzle, pulling those probes back right away. He could potentially, is he going to focus the Robo Bay? Yeah, I was going to say, he could potentially take out the Robotics Bay. And I don't think he's going to get it, though. No, I don't think so. Nope. And in fact, he's going to lose all these Marines as he tries. Puzzle's yep. showing him he's not going to get He's like, no, I'm going to research Thermal Lance right in front of you. Yep. And with the Phoenix late. there, no way the drop can escape. Probably should have tried to pick him a little bit earlier. But Phoenixes are so fast, it would have been tough to do it anyway. Now, here here's comes the, the scary push. push. And it is a very scary push. He's going to have two Colossi. He's not going to have range. And in fact, right now, he's got... 12 Zealots, that's a decent amount. There's no Banshees in this. So that's good that he's made mostly Zealots, but remember there are Medivacs here as well. And oh, oh no, taking damage from the Siege Tanks. Here he goes. 
the Marines are stacked up the... Actually, the Colossi doing so much damage, he yeah, may be able to break is. through here. I think he actually might have done it. That one Phoenix picking up the tank made a pretty big difference right now. And yeah, I think Ryung is actually just going to get crushed. He did lose the Colossus, but wow, look at this. This is so weird. Ryung still more or less pushing him back. Only because of the medevac, and now the yep. medevac falls. And every time these Marines want to retreat, they have to stim because Stalkers are faster. Yep. Oh, there is one tank there, though. Oh, this is so back and forth. This is the most back and forth game I've ever cast, man. And more than that, uh, the right. best game with the Banshees and all that craziness back uh, forever ago. Immortal, he's targeting down the enough. tank. Yeah. The puzzle's got just enough right now to overcome that army. Ryung is going to need to play a little bit more defensive again. But, you know, if you look at the uh, worker count right now, I think it's going to be pretty good for Ryung. But oh, well, I don't think he can hold this, though. Yeah, that's the thing, is that it's such a weird game. Anyway, yeah, well, back and forth. I'm kind of surprised that Puzzle didn't go for that bunker. Well, the next tank did just pop out for Ryung, so he would have had that. He would have been able to shell things from the high ground. There is that. He's got a lot of SCVs right there to repair it. Um, and the bunker, of course, too. So, you know, again, we're at that situation where neither player can, you know, they're, they're like, well, maybe I can break it. Like you said, you know, maybe Puzzle can break it, but it's just not enough of a chance to risk it, I guess, at this point. Yeah, Puzzle, Puzzle's going to continue to make Colossi. What I'd like to see him do is as he resaturates. I mean, basically he's got full saturation on that base. I just see him just make some Phoenixes and Colossi and go kind of that Phoenix Colossus composition with yeah. mostly Zealots because he can deal with the Vikings that may end up appearing. I think this is a bad choice by Ryung to do this drop because I if it gets cleaned up, it's way too much of an investment. And if he goes to the robotic support bay, that could work, but he just knows it's almost mined out. I'm kind of surprised he's attacking here. And remember, yeah. with with uh, with losing this many units, it's it's huge at this point of the game when both players don't have a lot of army. Oh, sacrificing two marines to the uh, Colossus there. And with that Phoenix there, he's going to lose the drop. Yes, he will. Is he well, he can probably save it. Oh, whoa, Phoenix, where? What? Phoenix got a little disinterested. Yeah, all drop right. Oh, the drop's actually going to be just fine, I guess. Yeah, the drop's just going to be fine. He can force a stem on those marines, actually. He was a little bit of medevac energy, a little bit of a trade off there. Phoenix, like, didn't know what direction to go. His GPS, like, shorted out for a second. He's like, wait, uh,. Do I turn here? Well, he did even the worker count with that drop. It's 20 to 20 at this point. But keep in mind that there are always mules on the field. Those probes that were in the main weren't really doing anything because he's oversaturated. A lot of Phoenix is being produced. So I think you're right, Wolf. I think he is going to go for that Phoenix Colossus composition. This was, uh, back when I was in Korea last time, this was really popular on the on the ladder at, in Masters. Everybody was doing it. Um, and it's, it's really good. I mean, you can add, <laughs> excuse me. You can handle the Vikings that come after your Colossi. You can pick up tanks. You can do a lot of good stuff with it. It's got a lot of utility, we'll put it that way. Yeah, it definitely does. And it's got a lot of, you can harass SCVs, you can control the map, you can pick off, you know, anything that's on the watchtower. It's very, very good. Now, puzzles continue to make workers whereas Ryung is not, which I think is actually smart, given that he has mules to drop. He's got two orbitals for that. And if Puzzle keeps making probes until he takes the Nexus, those probes aren't going to mean anything. Yep. Well, this game has gone on a lot longer than I would have expected it to. Oh, me too, man. This is actually, we're at the 24-minute mark here. Yeah, but it's been a very interesting uh -oh. game, too. Almost losing a Phoenix there. You're going to be a lot more careful than that. Phoenix yeah, down with 15 hit points. And uh, you very seldom see prolonged Marine tank medevac style against Protoss. So this is, I'm, I'm really interested to see how Ryung takes this into the later stages of the game. You know what changes he's going to make. The power units here are going to be the Siege Tanks and the Colossi. And those are going to be the real damage dealers. So it all comes down to where those hits land. If Puzzle right. can catch Ryung unseaged, he will most likely crushingly win. But otherwise, I'm not really sure. It's going to be very well, difficult to, to say. If the tanks are spread well, there's a lot of Mirars in this mix. The Viking count is starting to get pretty high as well. You know, it's actually, a, it can be a difficult engagement for Ryung as well because you feel the tendency to want to pull the Marines back, but then that kind of exposes your siege tanks to zealots and things like that too. So it's it's a difficult thing to engage on both sides, and I think we're probably going to see both players sit back for a little while and kind of try to figure out yeah. what they want to do. It's like when an unstoppable force hits an immovable object. That's actually what this True. engagement is going to be like. These already Phoenixes. left, man. The unstoppable force is already gone today. These Phoenixes are trying to find what they can. Trying to pick off these mules to really equalize things, but Whoa. huge mistake there. Yep. 
Yeah. When your opponent has that many Vikings and you have a similar number of Phoenixes, you can never do things like that. So you, I think yeah. now Puzzle, we're going to see that's going to be the end of his harassment. He's not going to do that anymore. Made an Observer back at his base as well and wants to see the movements of his opponent, realizing that Phoenixes can't stick around forever. Uh -huh. Now, I want to see if he has... His range is finished. How many Colossi does he have exactly? Four Colossus. It's a good amount. It's a scary amount of Colossi. That's what you can call a group of Colossi. A scare of Colossi. <laughs> Pretty scary, man. Not if you're Vikings, I guess. Well, these guys are dead even at supply. 114 and 117. That nice observer. Scan. Not long for this world. No. Nope. Phoenixes are going to try to engage or not want to engage against Vikings in even number, and you don't know where the rest of the army is, because well, uh, that could be bad. Yeah, I mean, he'll need to be really careful about trying to take out that scouting factory, too, because the Vikings have such a long range. You know, this is going to be it, up. man. Ryung is going to go for it. He's going to want to split his tanks extremely well. He's going to want to have the better concave when he engages. He may yep. want to actually start sieging up now, and in fact, he will. Oh the factory tanking a lot of hits here. A great choice by Ryung to bring oh, this. Oh, hit. no, the Stalker's taking hits. Ooh. Oh, no, Puzzle, don't stack your units up like that, man. That's the last thing you want to do. you got to spread the Colossi, spread the Zealots. Yeah, listen to Wolf. He knows what he's talking about. Puzzle's like, oh, okay. And Puzzle's going to have to make a choice. Does he attack the Vikings with his Phoenixes, or does he lift the Siege Tanks? Yeah, that's actually a huge choice, because one way is losing the Colossi. The other way, he's losing all his ground units to Siege Tanks. The Factory is really annoying Puzzle right now, because he knows it's going to bug out a lot of his units when the engagement happens, but he can't really do anything about it. This is the best use of a scouting factor I've ever seen, actually. Look at that. Takes out a oh, Phoenix. Man. Using that Viking range. This is really smart by Ryung, using that factory as well here. That's actually the second Phoenix he's taken out like that in this push. That's huge. Ryung slowly tank pushing his way up there, and Look now at that. the Immortal's taking fire. He's using the factory to absorb the Stalker shot so his Vikings run forward. Yeah. Take off oh, here we here go. We go. Oh, Immortal's puzzle. targeting down the tanks. Puzzle running for his Colossi, this not doing bio. a lot of damage yet. And now the Vikings crushing the Colossi, and I think Ryung is going to be okay here. I think so. The bio came into the fight a little bit late, but it looks like it was just enough. GG! GG. And Slayer's Ryung with some great, great slow methodical pushing there. Wins game one. I, I love this guy. He's so good. These guys actually played with sticks and stones, man. They both had, like, no nothing to work with for the longest time, and... It was a situation where both players had large armies but tiny economies, so it was like, yeah. well, do I take a risk or not? And then both these guys just played so safely, and we dragged on, we trudged through, and the push went in Ryung's favor. Why? Because his tanks were seized up first, and he picked off so many of those Vikings yeah. using the factory to absorb shots. And, and he got literally like three or four Phoenixes in the uh, sort of the whole thing from when he moved out to his base to when the army actually engaged just by using, like you said, the factory and the Vikings to get really nice position. And that made a huge difference. But, I mean, Ryung just played that so well. Those types of games are really cool to see when you see players in positions where they maybe not have practiced this type of thing, to see who comes out on top in that regard. Because a lot of times it gives you a really good indication of the player's skill level. And while while uh, Puzzle is a very good Protoss player, uh, Ryung definitely showing his medal there in that game. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's only game one. Yeah, we've got potentially two more games to go. That was so cool. I'm really curious to see what the second map is going to be, actually. Well, I'll tell you, it's going to be dual sight. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's right on Wolf's screen. I like this music, man. Yeah. We All right. so much good music this season, actually. Puzzle, you know, I expected him to actually win 2-0, despite the fact that I love Ryung. He's a great player. I thought Puzzle was going to be able to just hand it to him here, but, you know, we've, we saw some crazy back and forth action. A lot of times, both players hesitating. Yep. But Puzzle hesitating a little bit more, and I think they came back to bite him. Well, you know, once again, we've see, we've said it before. I mean, Slayers is a house of Terran innovation. And we saw a very interesting opening from Ryung with the Marauder Hellion. Not something you see very often in TVP at all. And then uh, just kind of scraping and clawing his way into a really solid mid game. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like the Ryung fan, and you're the Puzzle fan, but we're both fans of StarCraft. I'm, both, I'm fans of both fans of these of guys, GSL. man. All right, we're going to jump into it here at the GSL August. This is Code S. I am Wolf. With me is Moltrap, who's going to take game two. Will Puzzle tie it up 1-1, or will Ryung take him down? Let's find out.